This is on the determination of a rate constant of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an ester. The hydrolysis reaction of an ester in pure water is a slow reaction. And in when the mineral acid like a hydrochloric acid is added, the rate of the reaction is enhanced. Since the H plus ion from the mineral acid acts as the catalyst. The acid catalyzes the hydrolysis of an ester follows the pseudo first order kinetics. Here is the reaction. You got the methyl acetate reacts with water in the presence of H plus ions gives acetic acid and methanol. The overall rate of the reaction depends on the concentration of reactants and also on the catalyst concentration. So if your rate is equal to K3, ester, H2O, H plus. But K3 is the rate constant of the third order reaction. Therefore, the true order of the reaction is 3.0. Since water is used as a solvent, its concentration is excess. So, the weight of 1 liter of water, that's 1000 gram, is equal to 1 kilogram. And the density of water is 1 gram per cc. The number of moles of water in 1 liter is equal to 1000 divided by 18. So the concentration of pure water is 55.55 moles. Here is the typical example of hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis reaction is nothing but adding up of a water molecule so that it will split it. Water is added and O is to one molecule and H to the other molecule. That's referred to as hydrolysis. So, a disaccharide is split into two monosaccharides. So, this is how the hydrolysis reactions are. So, you are able to see once the actual molecule is there, you are able to see the water is added and it will form a dipeptide. Dipeptide is separator and this is triglyceride split to form three fatty acids and glycerol. That's awesome. Are you able to see it? I am trying to show you a typical picture of how the fatty acids are. If one molar aqueous solution of ester is used, then one mole of water will be consumed for its complete hydrolysis. After the completion of hydrolysis, 55.55 minus 1 is equal to 54.55 moles of water will be present in the medium. Therefore, change in the concentration of water considered as negligible and concentration of water is assumed to be constant. So, the acid will act as the catalyst. There will be no change in the catalyst concentration before and after the completion periods of times of the reaction. So here is the pseudo first order reaction and rate constants. H plus is considered as a constant value. The rate is equal to K3 dash in an ester. But K3 dash is nothing but the pseudo first order rate constant, which is given by K3, H plus and H2O. So in this reaction, the rate expression and the rate of the expression on reaction is directly proportional to the ester concentration. Let's work with the small experiment with sodium. I am trying to add the water into a test tube. The whole experiment is done in GTEC laboratory.
then a few drops of a phenolphthalein is added this will be used as a ph indicator if there is any change in the ph automatically phenolphthalein will indicate us i am trying to mix it up the water and the phenolphthalein it's advisable to have your gloves in your hand before doing this experiment next i am trying to add some gasoline in the test tube this will try to float in the surface of water you are able to see it it will be floating so water on top of the gasoline i am trying to put a sodium metal into the test tube are you able to see the changes sodium slowly mix up with water and you are able to see the ph value with the phenolphthalein and it could stay is coming up this is how sodium will react the entire experiment is done in gtech laboratory you are able to see the sodium metal it started dissociating are you able to see it's not a big metal it's a, it's keep on reducing itself